some nations have crossed the one line Russia warned the world not to cross. Do not give Ukraine heavy equipment. Do not get involved. But rather than slowing down, these nations have only geared forward, providing the Ukrainian defense with a lot of requested weapons. Recently, over 300 main battle tanks were pledged to the country. And now, after a tweet from the Defense of Ukraine requesting them, fighter jets might well be next up. These fighter jets could be a combination of the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Mirage 2000, the JAS-39 Gripen, or one of the fighters that could really single-handedly change the tides of the war in favor of Ukraine, the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 from Lockheed Martin is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft. The members of this family are the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A for the Air Force, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B for the Marine Corps, and the F-35C for the Navy. All three aircraft are generally the same except for a few features unique to each of them that make them specialists in different situations. All three F-35 variants are intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions, then provide electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. These capabilities are made possible by the most advanced combination of advanced stealth, powerful engines, intelligent avionics, and lethal armament. Advanced Stealth Preceded by the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 is the United States' second fifth-generation fighter. And like every fifth-generation fighter, the F-35 heavily relies on its stealth capabilities, which Lockheed Martin made sure to develop to draw-dropping standards. The F-35 was designed from the ground up with stealth in mind. Its manufacturers aligned its edges, serrated its skin panels, and masked the engine with easy-to-maintain fiber matte skin for low observability. They also reduced infrared and visual signatures, enabled the reflection of radar waves, and used strict controls of radio frequency emitters, all playing their role in preventing aircraft detection and contributing to the F-35's ultra-tiny radar cross-section that's lower than that of a metal golf ball. And while the Raptor manages to have a generally better radar cross-section than that, the F-35's stealth would actually compare favorably in some conditions. In fact, only conspicuous, susceptible to clutter, imprecise, low-frequency radars are able to detect the F-35 with relative ease due to a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. But again, these radars are conspicuous, susceptible to clutter, and imprecise. For maintainability, the F-35 stealth design took lessons learned from prior stealth aircraft, such as the F-22. Its radar-absorbent fiber matte skin is more durable and requires less maintenance than older topcoats powerful engines. On the F-35 is a single Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan that provides 43,000 lbf of thrust with afterburner, thrusting the jet to a top speed of Mach 1.6. And while that's 20% slower than the Mach 2 top speed of the Russian fifth-generation Su-57 fighter, it was reasonable for the F-35 to make the sacrifice of speed for even more stealth because stealth, to a great degree, as hinted earlier, defines the advancements of fifth generation over previous fighter generations. The engines on the F-35 are made stealthy by featuring a low observable afterburner that incorporates fuel injectors into thick curved veins. These veins are covered by ceramic radar absorbent materials and they mask the turbine. Furthermore, the F-35's low-observable axisymmetric nozzle consists of 15 partially overlapping flaps that create a sawtooth pattern on the trailing edge, which reduces radar signature and creates shed vortices that reduce the infrared signature of the exhaust plume. When it comes to the engine, the F-35B stands out quite significantly. The F-135 PW600 engine for the F-35B supports short takeoff and vertical landing by incorporating a shaft-driven lift fan, or SDLF. This SDLF was designed by Lockheed Martin and developed by Rolls-Royce as a key technology for the F-35. It showcases the fighter's special use case and performance in the most impressive fashion. So much so that the system, officially known as the Integrated Lift Fan Propulsion System, was awarded the prestigious Collier Trophy in 2001. Intelligent Avionics The F-35 is able to sense data lightning quick via an array of highly sensitive sensors, including the AN-APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, 
the ANASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System, the ANAAQ-37 Distributed Aperture System, the ANAAQ-40 Electro Optical Targeting System, and the ANASQ-242 Communications Navigation and Identification Suite. These all combine to provide rapid beam agility, multiple operational modes, all-aspect missile launch and target tracking, 10 radio frequency antennas, all-aspect radar warning receiver, self-defense against missiles, the detection and jamming of hostile raiders, laser targeting, forward-looking infrared capabilities, long-range IRST functions, and an impossible level of sensor fusion that gives the pilot and friendlies an omnipresent tactical picture of the battle space without compromising stealth. Keeping these avionics running as efficiently as they do is some top-secret software running on a shocking 8.6 million lines of code. Lethal Armament The F-35 is armed to its metallic teeth. Being a fighter that must provide top-tier close-air support as it retires the legendary A-10 Warthog, the F-35 wields a 180-round 25mm GAU-22A four-barrel rotary cannon. The gun is more effective against ground targets than the 20mm cannon carried by other U.S. Air Force fighters. In terms of explosives, the F-35 wields the longest array of long-range, medium-range, and short-range missiles along with bombs that hunt down their prey hungrily. To carry these explosives and still maintain its stealth shaping, the F-35 has two internal weapons bays with four weapons stations that can carry 5,700 pounds of weapons in total. For missions where stealth isn't of topmost priority, the F-35 has six external weapon stations that can carry 15,000 pounds of weapons. So in total, the F-35 has a hefty payload capacity of 18,000 pounds. And that's not even including the flares, chaff, and towed decoys. Despite all of these advanced capabilities, the F-35 continues to be heavily upgraded to leave opposition in the dust or in a cloud of its own smoke. The upgrades began in 2019 and are expected to last through to the mid-2020s. Known simply as Block 4, this batch of upgrades gifts the F-35 with 1. Bigger brains in the form of new computer processors for greater computing power and a larger memory unit that can improve agile software development through open system architecture for seamless future upgrades. Block 4 also comes with 2. Improved battle space awareness thanks to an enhanced panoramic display and new navigation updates, allowing for some see-first, shoot-first action. Next up on this blockchain of upgrades are 3. More weapons and new engines that see the F-35 employ 17 additional weapons and wield powerful adaptive cycle engines developed by a team of General Electric and Pratt & Whitney. These weapons and engines combine to increase the operational flexibility of the aircraft and its area of influence. Finally, the F-35 is treated to 4. Better communication across domains Here, advanced networking and interoperability improvements enable 21st century information requirements to be fused and shared across all military domains, as this can only maximize the capability of a joint force. The Remotely Operated Video Enhanced Receiver, or ROVER for short, is only one of such systems that bring this concept to life by enabling ground forces to see what an aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicle sees in real time. The improvements that come with these upgrades and the already impressive basic capabilities of the F-35 make the fighter crucial in virtually all types of missions. And this general versatility is why the F-35 is the best fighter for Ukraine. Any fighter today could have missiles and guns. Intelligence is what truly sets the best apart. And the F-35, thanks to its network of sensors, is the most intelligent of all. For context, a former Israeli Air Force chief once stated that their F-35 gathered more intelligence on a single flight than what other intelligence-gathering systems would take weeks to gather. And this is far from an exaggeration. In addition to this, the F-35 is only the second fighter jet in history developed with stealth technology from the ground up, and specifically with the S-400 missile system in mind, which is crucial. The S-400 is Russia's most capable mobile surface-to-air missile system, and it has been a major pain to Ukrainian forces. The F-35 could, with relative ease, identify these surface-to-air missile systems and destroy them with ruthless efficiency because the radar on the over 15-year-old S-400 is simply not advanced enough to detect the F-35 from any favorable distance. In addition to this, the F-35 could detect and track ballistic missile launches, track Russian infantry movement and the infantry vehicles in use, 
Then instantly share all of this information with commanders on the ground and friendlies also in the action, including Ukrainian forces. And should Russia call on the Su-57 to counter the F-35, the American fighter would still have the edge. It has intelligence, better stealth, and greater numbers working in its favor and against the Su-57. To put the number bit in perspective, over 890 operational F-35s have been built, while there are only 11 operational Su-57s in existence today. So, should Ukraine's allies do with the F-35 fighter what they did with tanks and supply the jet in numbers to Ukraine, the Russian forces would feel the impact of a new level of lethality now backing Ukraine, and this could well put Ukraine in the lead. According to experts, this sequence of events would only be possible if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So kindly do so now, and thanks for watching.